Today I want to show you how to make a pure IDX website using IDX Broker Platinum. So we have a video that shows how to do it with IDX Broker Lite and this one it's a little bit different with Platinum. What we showed you in the Lite video works on Platinum but you can do this on Platinum and I think it's a little bit easier. So let me just show you what, what's involved. Basically the first thing you're going to want to do is come down here to design, then website, and then saved links. So I'll click that open in a new tab here and uh, I'll create a link here. So I'm going to do some sort of a search. So say I use a basic search and I want to do um, single family residence. I want to show, you know, maybe I'm, actually on this one, maybe I'll just show sold properties. And uh, say I want to show them anywhere in the area. Let's just do that in this price range. I want to make sure it has an image because it's going to be at the bottom of the page. And then I'm, I'm going to sort by, I'll sort by newest listings. That seems to keep everything fresh. So this is, so I'm going to do this as a, a blog page example. Okay, I'm going to put in some meta tags here. Um, uh, basically, what the meta tag description is is a two or three sentences that describe what your page is. So then you would put in some content here on this page. So um, if I want, I can also put in an image here. I would need to get a URL for the image, which means the link to it. So say I go over here to Imager and I want to search for a Beach Home. And none of these really look like beach homes to me. There's a lady on the beach, there's a beach. I'm going to use this one. So I'll open the image in a new tab. It gives me this image. So maybe I'll put it in right here. And I can put in some information about this. Let's say I put in equal housing description. I can change you know, the size on this. Like say I want to make it um, 800 by 600. You can change all these things, so uh, we'll put it in the middle. Anyway, um, so there's the image on my page, and then after that I can put more info here. So that's pretty much the page. I'm done, so I'm going to hit Save and Manage Links. When I come down here, let's go click on it, preview the link. Here's the blog page example. And then here's all these properties that showed up. So these, this was the sold date and stuff like that. So I want to get rid of these buttons here. And I only want to show two properties. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this code. And it's right here on this Napa Valley Real Estate Stats. And we can share this with you. And um, I'll come over here. I'm going to reload this page, the custom CSAs, and I'm going to come here to saved links. And so here's the blog page example. So now I'm just going to paste that code right there. Okay, so this is what it looks like now. I'm going to copy that. I'm actually going to open that in a new tab just so I can see the difference. So now it just shows a couple of small properties here. And uh, I could format this to put a little more emphasis on the fact that they're sold if I wanted to. But here's my information for the blog post.
Okay, and so now this page just works out great. It has a couple properties showing down here. If I wanted to, um, I could put a little more space uh, in here on that page and push that down a little bit further. But that's basically how you do it. Um, and I'll send the code link to you. So thank you.